The death toll continues to rise in West Africa from the terrible Ebola crisis. This as the first case of Ebola has now been confirmed here in the United States. As concerns obviously rise, a Connecticut company is now spearheading research in hopes of developing a vaccine. News 8's Brian Spiros joins us live from News 8 Control this noon with the details on that. Brian. Well, good afternoon, Keith. Protein Sciences in Meriden specializes in vaccine development. The company was contacted back in June to come up with a vaccine for Ebola, and the work that's been done so far could end up being life-saving. As the first case of Ebola has been found in the states, there's a major focus on fighting the virus right here in Connecticut. We are producing the uh, protective antigen as we speak. Protein Sciences in Meriden is no stranger to producing vaccines. They already have one for the flu. Now they're developing a vaccine for Ebola. The way this disease is evolving at this moment in time, I think it's important enough to be prepared. It's very important that we get something out there pretty quickly. The company says it was contacted in June by the government to begin working on the vaccine. Testing is expected by the end of the year. As you can imagine, there's a great deal of science behind it all, but how it works is simple. It trains your immune system to stop the virus if it tries to infect your body. Now, this vaccine wouldn't be given to people who already have Ebola, but rather used as a preventative measure, especially for those working on the front lines of it all, such as the doctors and the nurses. More than 3,000 people in Africa have died from the virus, and earlier this week, the first Ebola case was confirmed in the U.S., a man from Liberia who was visiting family in Dallas. FDA approval on the protein sciences vaccine could take years, but the goal is to get it out much faster than that. It very much depends on what the emergency situation is and what the alternative is. I believe that if I were to be deployed to Africa, I would rather take something than nothing. Now, researchers at Protein Sciences say they're able to work on this vaccine so quickly and efficiently because they aren't handling a live virus, which is sometimes a time-consuming process. Now, even if final FDA approval does take years, in the meantime, they're able to issue what's called an emergency use authorization, which will allow people to take the vaccine.